Hey everybody, this is Mark Spectre Comics, and I'm here today with a special guest. The Comic Crypt of Castle Hills. And we're here today at a really cool shop in San Antonio. It's called Heroes and Fantasies. It is the largest collecting shop in the state of Texas. Let's go inside and see what's there. so welcome back if you haven't already please don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content you get it in a timely fashion so if you saw from the intro I met up with Michael he's a uh, comic crypt of Castle Hills on YouTube I'll put the uh, link down in the description had a blast meeting up with him we were at heroes and fantasies if you're not familiar with this shop in San Antonio it is the largest collectible shop in all of Texas and that's right I'm not kidding you all of Texas. This shop is huge. Was going through the uh, different aisles. They had some manga. They had some comic books, graphic novels. They had cards, video games, and then all the way towards the back. On one side, they had a big booth where you can play your games, your cards. They had tournaments, tons of tables there. You could fit probably a couple hundred people in there comfortably. Um, and then on the opposite side, there was the comic books, like I said, the graphic novels, uh, the wall books, the back issue bins, the new comic book day stuff on the side. I was able to talk to him for a little bit. And I also, um, he introduced me to, I believe he was either the manager or the owner of the shop. Really nice guy. I was talking to them for a while. Um, was only able to meet up with, uh, with Mike there at the shop. Didn't have too much time to, to, you know, you know, we were able to talk for a little bit. Had a blast with them. Really nice guy. Um, wish I could spend more time, but I was limited. My uh, my son had, you know, fallen asleep, so I was like, all right, I'm in the area. Let's go check out the shop and see if he's available. Luckily, he uh, he was free. We stopped by, did some uh, back issue bin uh, hunting, looked at some of the wall books, and uh, talked to a few other employees there. To see if they can help me out and uh, ended up picking up three books I'll show you the books I ended up getting so uh, the first book I ended up picking up was Power Rangers issue number I think this is issue number seven seven or nine um, and this is the uh, one in 25 I picked this up I've been reading it right along it's been a pretty good read Power Rangers and Mighty Morphin um, I picked it up mainly for the cover. It, the, there's nothing significant about the issue, but I just thought it was a really cool cover. And uh, they had it listed for uh, 20 bucks, So I, I thought that was a pretty good price. Um, but I was mainly looking for it with some either like pre-Cold War or like just after Cold War and uh, or pre-Cold Horror. And they didn't have much for pre-Cold Horror, but they did have quite a bit of war books. And I picked up two more books that I that really caught my eye, and uh, it's not Golden Age. This is this is real early Silver Age, but they are ten centers. And the first book was Battle Action, issue number twenty four, and it says our platoon is trapped. Really cool, Russ Heath cover, and. Um, I just like the action in here. It's really, you can see these uh, the troops there hiding in the little bunker. You got some ports here on the bottom. Some uh, Cold War. I believe this is. I'm not sure, but um, they are you know Cold War era because you see the stars on the uh, on the troopers. And there's been a lot of Cold War. You know, I I like the Cold War artwork, so it really caught my eye. Um, and Obviously, it's a little bit more affordable than the Golden Age, especially World War II covers. So uh, I thought this for the price it was thirty bucks. It was a really, really good deal. The other cover issue that I picked up is from, I believe this is, is this. I'm not sure if it's. I believe it's Marvel or or Atlas. Um, but it's Battle issue number fifty-eight. Yep, June of 58. This came out in 1958. Also a 10 center. And uh, 
you see the army there saying forward. There they are. It's now or never. And you have some more of the uh, Cold War soldiers there in the bottom. So it's one second till doom. This was uh, forty dollars, and uh, another great cover. Um, I forget who did this cover. I believe this is Marie Severin. Yeah, uh, Severin. Another great cover, real early Silver Age. This is from, yeah, 1958. And um, those are the three books I picked up. Like I said, I, uh, I had a blast hanging out there with uh, Comic Crypt to Castle Hills. Um, I was able to reach out with them and at least hang out with them for a little bit and just, you know, just talk to them. Um, talk to me, told a few good stories, talk to the... Uh, so I believe it was the man. I forget the manager of the shop owner for a little bit. Really nice guy as well. He gave me a nice deal on these books, and I was very appreciative. And if you are in the San Antonio area, definitely check out Heroes and Fantasies, and you'll be blown away about how much of a great selection they have, and how much you know different genres they have there for comics and any other sort of type of collectibles that you may be interested. All right. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. And until next time, Marks with the Comics, out.